Hello everyone, we are back. Okay, it is 2021. I was hoping to come back a few days before. I was hoping for some bigger news to come out a few days ago. So every day I was waking up going, okay, today's the day I'm back. Is there anyone alive out there? But today there's actually some news that I want to talk about with y'all. The CD Projekt Red Saga has been immense. Okay, it happened in December, of course. It came out December 10th. And it's been downhill for CD Projekt Red every single day since. <gasps> We'll get to it. Let's get to the drop first. Okay. Love you. Appreciate you. After the drop, let's talk about City Project Red and the government now getting involved with how bad this whole thing's been for City Project Red. Let's go. Okay, so we are back now. Hope you guys had a great holiday. I had a good holiday. You know who didn't have a good holiday? Probably CD Project Red. Alright, they're probably crunching away as usual. Am I right guys? That's why I love Crunch. Now I'm sure I don't have to give you a big recap as to what's happened with City Project Red and Cyberpunk 2077. Of course the embargo was horrendous in terms of only giving a lot of people like myself PC codes. They didn't give us console codes. So no one knew the actual state of Cyberpunk 2077 on the consoles until it was actually released. And throughout that whole process, of course, I saw a lot of bugs, a lot of people saw a lot of bugs, but it wasn't until it was actually released that everyone actually got to see how bad this game was really performing, especially on console. In 2077, what makes someone a criminal? Getting caught. Then on top of that, they just came out of nowhere, CD Projekt Red, and said, hey, you know what guys, go get a refund. Sony, give them a refund, and then it came out very shortly after. Sony wasn't even aware of this. They weren't even part of the conversation, so they had no idea that this was even coming, so they pushed back on that, and they didn't want to give those refunds because it was going to affect Sony's sales. Shortly after that, of course, Sony did give you the refund, and on top of that, they also took the whole game off the PSN network. I don't think we've ever seen that with a AAA title. It was huge. It's been a, just a terrible, terrible month of December for CD Projekt Red. Did you find the files? What do they look like? They're in the computer. They're in the computer? And that all brings us to here, okay? So it's not only the consumers and Sony probably that's been pretty pissed off with CD Projekt Red for Cyberpunk 2077. Now it's also the Polish government are weighing in because they feel like CD Projekt Red has been doing the wrong thing by its customers. And I think we all kind of agree. The Polish Office of Competition and Consumer Protection is now getting involved with Cyberpunk 2077 and are monitoring the game's post-release development roadmap. The Bureau serves the people of Poland and ensures that their interests are looked after. A game such as Cyberpunk 2077, which released in the dire state, has rubbed the Bureau the wrong way. Now for me personally, when the consumers appear, they might review Bomb on Metacritic, which we've seen, of course. Getting caught. And Sony understandably being annoyed also because they've had to do that whole refund debacle. That's one thing, but when you get the government involved, that goes up a whole notch. Now we've seen governments in the past step in with things like EA, when there's the Belgium court cases that they had and the Norwegian court cases that we've seen going toe to toe with EA in regards to their loot boxes and taking them to court. We've seen all that kind of stuff in the past. But I never thought that we would be seeing Cyberpunk and City Project Red court cases and government all in the same sentence. I just did not see that. But we are sadly kind of going into that territory now. Now we already know that there's two major patches that are planned for Cyberpunk 2077. The big two patches are going to be actually dropping in the first quarter of this year. And of course there's going to be incremental changes and improvements going on after that. So I do believe that we are going to see Cyberpunk and CD Projekt Red of course work on this game and make it the best it possibly can be. But of course because we are seeing the government now weighing in on this and kind of watching from afar to make sure that CD Projekt Red does the right thing, it kind of muddies the waters in a way. A lot of people now are going to be wondering when we do get a finished product from CD Projekt Red, was it because the government was looking in and going, hey, you better be doing the right thing here? Oh, it was because CD Projekt Red actually wanted to deliver on their promises. I personally believe that yes, it is going to be because CD Projekt Red knew it had tarnished its reputation and it wanted to get back to a state where it's you know in good stead with the actual consumers. Having said that, there are going to be some people that are going to be a bit more skeptical 
And I wonder if they're going to be thinking, well, it's because the government stepped in. That's the only reason why we're getting actually a good game out of this now. Now, to continue along, UOKIC's investigation into City Project Red is also one of several legal troubles the company is currently embroiled in. One investor filed a lawsuit against the developer claiming that it had misled investors and consumers by lying about Cyberpunk 2077's playability. Prior to the game's release, CD Projekt Red's joint CEO, Adam Kaczynski, said that the PS4 and Xbox One version of the game ran surprisingly good. I'm getting what I deserve. I'm reaping what I sow. I'm... <laughs> Now, I've been pretty vocal in December about how much I thought that this review process in terms of only giving us PC codes, not giving us console codes, was a bad, bad move. You know, we didn't have the information in terms of the reviewing community to give you guys the full picture before you actually were purchasing a game. Like, you didn't know what it was going to look like on console because they deliberately didn't want to give us any of that information. So this particular lawsuit may have legs. And the difference here is all that kind of evidence is now set in stone. And that'll be up to a judge to determine as to if they gave us the required information for us to make an informed purchase. Having said that, the Office of Competition and Consumer Protection within Poland still overlooking the upcoming releases in terms of patches. That's still up in the air. So we're not sure how that's gonna go, but this is the only thing that maybe CD Projekt Red can control right now. If they, for the next three or four months, deliver really good, really high quality patches that start really fixing this game to a point where it is playable on all consoles, then maybe they can skirt around having to deal with another issue, which of course is the whole government issue. For now, the Bureau is simply overseeing the post-release development phase to ensure that CD Projekt Red follows through on their promises made to the general public. This includes improving the game and adding new updates and content into the experience in the coming months. Should CD Projekt Red fail to deliver on the promises, the Bureau will fine the company. Keep in mind that while the Bureau has consumers' best interests at heart, they have yet to find CD Projekt Red and might not even do so. The office first needs to find CD Projekt Red guilty of being unfair to consumers. If this happens, then the studio could be fined by a max of 10% of its annual income. However, there's a high chance that this will never happen. It depends on the development plans from CD Projekt Red and what the studio is doing to fix the game. So look, we are yet to see what actually happens with this, but to be fined 10% of CD Projekt Red's income, I'm guessing that's net, that's still a very big hit. As I said before, a lot of people were expecting, just based on the trust they had with CD Projekt Red, that they would deliver an actually finished game on those base consoles in the coming months. For the government to step in here, it just adds a little bit more of a murky situation. Because if they do in fact now deliver a full game, some people that just want to hate on CD Projekt Red are going to be always thinking, well, they only did it because the government was here, you know? Look, it has not been, as I said, a good month of December for CD Projekt Red. But look, it's been recently published that even if you take out the refunds, they still sold 13 million copies of Cyberpunk 2077. So in reality, the refunds probably didn't affect CD Projekt Red that much. The real problem here is there's been an erosion of trust that will be, for many, irreparable. One of the major powers that CD Projekt Red had was they're able to like announce any game now and everyone would just line up purely based on the trust that they had for the company from their pro-consumerism, their high quality games and their high quality DLC and their relationship with their consumers that they've had for so many years. But that's been really damaged from this. Will people now line up blindly for the next City Project Red game? I certainly won't. I mean, I've been a bit of a fanboy. I did like City Project Red and I still do like City Project Red, but I do think they've made a massive blunder here. And not only now are they pissing off the consumers, Sony, but also the government. So as I said, it's just been a very trying time and I'm sure it's been a very humbling time for City Project Red because it does show them that a blunder as big as this, 10 years of pro-consumerism, goodwill with the actual consumer and building that relationship that they've been doing and making amazingly high quality games doesn't necessarily mean much when you do such a misleading marketing strategy when the next game is coming out. It can kind of damage or destroy all that goodwill that you had with them. All I know is if I was doing the trust game with CD Projekt Red and I was falling back, I don't know now if I would do it with them. That's all I'm saying, okay? Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Love, we appreciate you. I will see you guys next time. Lemonade!